Welcome back everyone. Okay, so we are going to finish off uh, these two halves by getting the uh, um, navigational lighting installed. And once that's done, these are ready to go to be connected. Uh, all right, so let's get this going. lighting in place here so looks good all right I just got to wire them up so I was gonna use this little circuit board here that I made up for the fast and slow lights so I think uh, this side was the slow and this one was no this slow and this one was fast and I'll just probably plop it in here like this somewhere where there are no windows so there this would be the best spot right there so it's just no windows right there for it to interfere with anyway <clears throat> all right so let's see for the fiber optic this is the uh, uh, 0.40 mil that I'm using the larger one now this is this is going to be pretty hard to some of that excess off but still leave it sticking out a fair amount so it looks like that now I'll put a uh, 180 ohm on the red 22 on the green 47 on the whites Get all the rest of these hooked up and away we go. Alright, so I got uh, the flashes here all connected up for the bottom and I got it for the top as well. Uh, I got the mains hooked in and two lights on the very back here. I have 470 ohm resistor. Let's do a quick light test. Okay, so I got the circuit board in there. I tried an Arduino, uh, but there's just not enough power. So uh, this one works fine. Um, I, I do have instructions on how to build a board like that in, in my uh, on my channel. So let's just do a quick light test and see how it works. 
fresh nine volt. Oop. Have to double check that. I got a loose connection. Let's see. You can see it flashing. It's just That's good. Perfect. All right. And now that I got that done, uh, I haven't glued that board in place yet, just in case. Um, so I'm just going to hook up the fast flasher here and then uh, see how that works. Perfect. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so um, I just got to get uh, lines from here for the slow flashes connected to the fast slow ones on this side. Uh, I've already run the power line down from here down into the ship. I uh, just got to connect these lights to the mains here. And once I get that done, then these two halves can go together. Okay. Got those all together. Looks good. Um, I still got to run a line for the fast and the slow down. But uh, let's do a quick light test, see how this looks. Okay, so I got uh, the uh, flasher lines here, got the main power line, drilled a hole here for the wiring to go down. And so this is just about ready to be put together now. Uh, and then we can work more on the engineering hull. Okay, so I still got to put in the uh, forward torpedo light and I got to install the light here for the flasher for on the bottom here um, and I gotta put the torpedo light in on this side as well so let's get that done okay so I got uh, the impulse engines they're all hooked in now torpedoes uh, 470 ohms on both of those and 470 ohm 47 ohm on the uh, white flasher. So everything is all tied in. So let's do a quick light test with uh, this little thing here that I made up. Let's 
this gun. Yeah, got the bottom torpedoes there, impulse engine, forward torpedo there. Got a little bit of paint on it. I'll have to scrape that off and I'll brighten it up. I'm thinking I want to add another light over here to light up the uh, the front deflector just a little bit more. That, that none of these lights are actually pointing directly at it. It's it basically it's just you're getting all the lights from the internal lighting here. There's nothing directly pointing at it. I think I'm gonna add like one over here, and just pointing right at it. Okay, so I got a light just up there, pointing at the deflector. Let's do another quick light test. bad it's better good quickly going back to the primary hull we got that all together just gonna let that dry overnight back to the engineering hull here um i almost forgot my i had to add the uh the flasher for the back over here 47 ohm resistor and the other one here for the top part of the engineering hull 47 ohm resistor as well they're both white. So I had to put this on this side because there's just <laughs> no room left on this side. So that's no big deal. So I got uh, the wires hooked up to the torpedo for the port. And we are just about ready to hook these parts up together. But I still got to get this part here. I'm going to finish painting up this part first before attaching it to the main body. Um... It's going to be a little bit tricky to attach them all. I think I was going to put, uh, get the, the first half of the engineering hall in here, attach that all together, and then get the main saucer section there, attach it all to the innards, and then get the second half here, attach those cables, and then pop it all together, and that should be it. Okay, yeah, just got a bit of a stubborn spot there. It won't stay closed, but um, now... You can see on here, I got it. Uh, I just used a, a light crayon here and just lightly went over the edges here of the design that's supposed to go on the hull here. So that's what I have to mask off. Now it's, it's darker blue. Well, according to the studio model, it's slightly darker than, than this color um so what i got is i got this spray here the uh cor coral blue and when it's dry it's kind of that color i figure i'm going to use that color on the model so uh once i get this all masked after that's dry of course um then i can paint this and all of this section up in here, minus this, except for a certain portion there is still that color. All of this is that color. And I did the same markings on the bottom here as well, as to what goes where. Now on the bottom here, it's a darker line out here, and it goes to uh, a lighter line here and here. And then these teeny whiny little strips, those are the darker blues. So they got one, two, and three strips that are darker blue <clears throat> to, to separate the light lighter blues. Now I mixed together a uh, color here of white and a little bit of blue for the lighter bands that match that area, which will go on to that. So that's what I'm going to do next. There we go. It's all ready to go for that. Okay, got that all done. Got that masked off down there too. And then once that's on there, I gotta mask it in the reverse, have this masked, 
because uh, it'll be a lighter blue going on. So I'm just going to put uh, a couple of light coats on there. Once that dries, flip it over, do the other side. So I'm going to mask these areas off here as well on both sides because they get that, that light blue color like that on here. So I got this masking tape for uh, hobby. And these, uh, these uh, ridges here are a dark blue. that dry, flip it over, do the other side. And we'll go from there. Okay, got her flipped over here. Let the front there turned out really quite well. Not bad at all. Okay, coming along. Okay, one more coat, and that completes that. Okay, so I got my uh, spray gun here. Let's do these parts.
How about that? Not bad. Okay, now I gotta mask this off, but um, actually, just looking at some studio model pictures here. Okay, so according to that, this section here is the same color as this, so I have to mask all of this off, mask that off. Um, mask this and then paint that this color uh, this is the only color here for the bottom here and then we got uh, let's see uh, this band is the lighter blue this band is the lighter blue yeah so we got this band here is the lighter blue this band here is the lighter blue and then this is the hull color hull color hull color so we got these two bands of the lighter blue and then we got uh, these small strips here are this color the dark blue these three are all that really dark blue I'll just paint those on by hand um but first things less what I gotta do right now is I gotta remask this area here so I can get and mask that to get this that color. So if if you don't have this masking tape, you can get from a hobby shop. This works just as well. That's what I originally used, obviously. Actually, I want to start right about here. You can get this tape in different thicknesses as well. Like for, for the tighter corners, it's it's better to have the thinner stuff. Because it, it'll it'll bend a whole lot better. But you just keep playing with this and it, it will work. Or another thing you can do is get a strip that you need and cut it in half. Just got to do the uh, the same for this up here, mask that whole thing off, and then paint that. Okay, looking good. All right, now, um, 
let's see uh, that's this section in here is a lighter blue and then this section all the way around here except for the outer edge is a lighter blue um, and then we got sections in here that are a lighter blue so I'm gonna mask off the outer area here and I'm gonna mask off this section in here mask off all of that mask that and so I got a lot of masking and the same thing underneath here as well Now in those small areas there, I'm just going to use the uh, the darker color to separate those lines out. Not bad. Getting there. I just got to re-drill out the holes, the windows, most of them anyway. And then, uh, yeah. Looks pretty good here. Not bad. Yes. The painting turned out extremely well. Perfection. And for the primary, oh, whoo, yeah. Took me about two hours to do the touch ups. <laughs> I could probably do two more hours just to get it absolutely pristine, but anyway, that is it for this episode, guys. In the next episode, we are going to complete the model, get it all together. So please like, subscribe, comment, don't forget to share, and click that notification bell for any future uploads. If you have any questions, or you want me to do commission work for you, contact me at epic.models at gmail.com. See you all again later. Bye-bye.